Hey guys, Marcus here, Investing Embers, and it is a great day to be an investor. So this is video three of four in my four day, four video series. I wanted to break these up as mentioned because they are very, very different topics. And my challenge is you know, for you to watch all four, but some of these may not apply to you. This particular video, I'm focusing on drip. So if you're into yield nodes, you can skip this one or you can watch it. Maybe it's something you want to get into. Maybe you can take some of your passive returns from yield nodes and throw them into drip. Um, but at any rate, what I wanted to mention here also was we have a fantastic growing Telegram group and I invite you to join the Telegram group. Um, the link is right down here in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a great group where I'm learning a, a ton by you know all the comments that are in there. There's a lot of other folks that are providing great information or asking you know intelligent questions. And then I've got folks that are coming in and answering. And uh, so yeah, I invite you to join into the Telegram group. Um, but this video, I wanted to focus a little bit on drip. I haven't talked a lot about drip in my last several videos. And there's a reason for that. The reason is there has been no catalyst to make drip move. You know, if you look at the current value of drip, current value has been dropping steadily and it's now down to about 20 USD, USDT. Um, and that has been a steady decline, a steady, steady decline. Um, and the biggest reason for that is Forex Shark has been working on a completely different version of the animal farm. And I haven't done any videos on the animal farm. Why? because it hasn't been running, things have been in flux. And if you watch my last video, I'm, I'm really hesitant to push things unless I can speak truth about them and feel comfortable sharing that information. Now, do I believe in drip? Absolutely, I really do. And I think that this guy, his head and his heart are in the right place, um, but the value of drip is suffering because they are dragging out this animal farm launch. And as it stands now, things are still paused. Pretty frustrating, it, you know, honestly. I, I, I got into this thing early February. There was a launch, the, the launch was botched, and uh, there's just been a lot of issues. And it hasn't been anything that has caused me to doubt the Drip platform and everything that's happening with Drip. It's just a frustration in the guys, the developers that are managing it. And honestly, they need a good PR person and they need to really not launch something until they're ready to launch it or not even speak of it. You know, I mean, because what happens is something gets in the way and then they don't launch or they delay the launch. And all of this is affecting the, the mentality that folks have about Drip. When in reality, it is a great platform and they have tons of amazing things on the horizon. Do I think all that's coming? Absolutely, I know it will happen, it's just a matter of time. But what I wanted to also share was the <laughs> this graph of drip and what's happening here. This is a three month view of drip and you can see where it dipped. This little jump was when he was going to um, do something with the animal farm, but it didn't happen. There was another jump where he had a call, um, an AMA or um, a Telegram live call, and I was on that call, and he was supposed to announce something great with it, and he pushed out the launch yet again. And so things are going to continue to be this way until that launch actually occurs. So, you know, you may be asking yourself or asking me, is it a good time to get into Drip? Well, if you look at the one year, because Drip just passed its one year anniversary, um, you know, the lowest over here after it took a dip from growing, you know, somewhere in this range, $6, you know, could it continue to go further? I mean, it's absolutely possible at this point. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, should you get into Drip right now? It's hard to say. You know, will it go back up to those, you know, to 100 or $150, um, hard to say. You know, I, I believe that it will eventually break $80. I really do. I think that that is a very feasible amount, but it's gonna only come after the Animal Farm launches and successfully launches. 
Um, all this pigs v2, dogs v2, you know, if you're not familiar with all that, it, it sounds absolutely silly, but it's going to be a great poor, a part of this platform. And I'm looking forward to it. I've got some money invested in it that's just sitting on hold like everybody else, waiting for this thing to launch so that then it can start generating passive income over there. Now, I'm invested in the drip garden meanwhile. The drip garden is suffering because of all of this. Um, so it's not generating, you know, it's making passive income, but not the kind of passive income that I was hoping for, simply because the value of drip has continued to drop. So, you know, my suggestion, if you're in drip, I would say continue to claim and hydrate. I don't know if you noticed, but if I jump back over to the screen and show you, I have been claiming and hydrating and that's 128 drip that I currently have that's worth, you know, at $20, that's $2,700 worth of drip. If it gets up, let's just say it goes to $100 per drip. That's a 5X. And so I'm holding on to that drip, hoping that the value goes up. You know, I went into this the same way that I go into every single passive income opportunity that carries risk, which is all of them. Um, I didn't put any money that I couldn't afford to lose. I also got money through referrals, you know, that did come in. And I'm, you know, doing airdrops. You'll see if you join my Telegram, you'll see when I, I post airdrops. Um, but I'm also sitting on a bunch of drip and I'm not converting it over because I believe in this platform and I believe that the value is going to go up and then I can convert it. Um, but I can also use it for airdrops and other things. So I am excited about it, but I wanted to speak a little bit about where we are with drip what's going on you know why does it continue to decline and it is absolutely because of this whole animal farm debacle that i really hope will resolve itself soon you know they, they there's talk that it will happen in the next couple of weeks and i actually for the first time i do feel hopeful that that will happen in the past i think i've said they're nowhere near and i think that they may be getting there so i'm excited about it uh, you know, it's just going to take a little time, but if it's something you want to get into, do your research, watch some of my previous videos that talk about it. I've got videos that talk about how to fully fund drip, um, and, uh, the, the whole funding and withdrawal process. There are fees involved, but it does generate 1%, uh, in drip per day, which is pretty awesome. Not so awesome when the value of drip is declining. Uh, but as mentioned, I think it's going to come up one of these days soon. So if you're out there, uh, I would say continue to claim and hydrate. Lock in those profits and then we'll see that value rise in time and can turn it into some real cash. Meanwhile, perpetuate you know, your drip uh, max payout by claiming and hydrating. All right. That is my take on Drip. I wanted to get that out there. Let me know your thoughts on Drip in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. Um, and you know, if you're a hater, I get it. That's fine. If you're into Drip, cool. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. That's the beauty of the internet and the beauty of YouTube. So let me know. All right, that's the end of video three. You'll see video four come out tomorrow, my challenge to watch all four of these videos in this series because the topics are vastly different. So uh, yeah, hope you'll watch them all and uh, have a great rest of your day. Make today your best day.